Naruto is one of the biggest series to ever come from Japan. It heroes rank high with guys like Goku and Luffy. After all, with 20 plus years under the, its belt, Naruto has done a lot that in that time, and its reputation is backed by millions of fans. That is why Naruto has locked in a big theme park deal as it will allow fans to visit the Hidden Leaf firsthand in a few years. I wouldn't mind visiting the Hidden Leaf Village. It's pretty nice. So if there ever is a brand new, not a brand new, but a, like a hardcore fan base for another animated series, say like uh, Demon Slayer or like um, uh, Starter Online, there's a lot of fans of those. It's a long-running animated series. Not as long as Naruto. <laughs> not as a big fan base like Naruto. Not as a big fan base. Naruto has a big fan base. Like a Dragon Ball and a One Piece. That's why they, uh, have, they're strong. They're strong. It's the most talked about animes around the world. Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Naruto. And why not have a Naruto theme park? Why not, right? I wonder what they will do with it. <laughs> I wonder how it will look, actually. I wonder what it actually look like the Hidden Leaf Village. <laughs> the update comes from France as a manga news reported live from the Naruto Shippuden Symphoni Symphonic Experience. It was there Masashashi Kishimoto hit series came before fans in concert and the event ended with a big announcement. The theme park, Park Spiral per Province, is creating its own Naruto section, and the area will open in 2026. So the theme park will be open on 2026, in 2026. No actual month or date. Uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty awesome coming out, say, in two years. Oh, we will be one year. This uh, this year is almost over, so most likely like a in a year and a half, maybe like semi even summer. Most likely summer. That's when people usually go to theme parks. It's during summer uh, when kids are out and teenagers are out looking for a job. <laughs> so yeah, pretty nice Naruto theme park. Naruto theme park, pretty awesome. According to the update, Park Spyro Province has dedicated nearly four acres to the Naruto area. Wow. Anybody want to go on a trip to Japan <laughs> to visit the Naruto theme park in 2026? It's probably going to be summer 2026. I don't know, like say June when they, I don't know, maybe June, July, who knows. This new space will be added to the theme park in 2026 and include a variety of attractions from rides to eateries and shops. Ooh, ramen. <laughs> Might have a ramen shop. Ikiru Ikiraku ramen, right? <laughs> Naruto is getting the full treatment by Park Spyro Province, and the park's general director says the land's layout is being planned with Suishiya. Sorry for these names, uh, pronunciations. Yeah. All right. Cispario Province. That's where it's going to be. And that's how you pronounce it. Spirario? I don't know. So, yeah. Four acres of land dedicated to Naruto or to a Naruto theme park. Four acres of land. Uh, eateries. Rides, shops, memorabilia of the entire franchise. So who knows what they'll have at that theme park. Most likely it's going to have ramen as the food. Like Ikiraku might have an actual place called Ikiraku Ramen. So that's nice. <laughs> and then of course you might have people dressed up as the characters themselves. Like Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, 
Why not, right? Why not have that type of theme park? So yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice theme park. Especially for Naruto fans. If you're excited. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty nice. I just wonder what it's going to look like. <laughs> As one, the rides though, the rides, what are the rides going to be? <laughs> Who knows, right? Who knows what the rides are going to be?